I've just completed a takeoff in Calidus. I brought in a PDF background, traced out the relevant areas, created and placed my materials, and added base and transition. So now I'm ready to show you some of the reports that you can print in Calidus. So to begin, I'm going to go to Print Preview and Color Summary. We'll just look at two of these, the Color Summary and the Key Code Summary and I'll show you some more in a later video. On the color summary we have the job title that we typed in in plan settings, the date and the name of the file and the address which we also typed in in plan settings. Under that we have listed each material and in these columns you have first the net which again is the size of all the areas with this material in it. Then the gross, which is the amount of material you need to order for this project. The waste, the perimeter of the areas, and in this base column we'll have lineal footage for base and transitions where that's applicable. You get some other information as well after the title of the product, you have the tile size, how many split and full tiles, and the tile edging. For a roll good, you'll also get seaming. So let's grab a roll good to see what that looks like in the color summary. Going to select a roll good, quantify that. We'll go back to print preview and the color summary. So for this roll good, I get the width, the cut tolerance, and the seaming. So for sheet vinyl, that would be my welding number. You also get a lineal footage for the length of the roll and the width of the roll under the base column. So you can choose to print individual quantities in square feet or square yards. And under all of this information about the materials, you'll get a nice color-coded image of the floor plan. So that is the color summary view. Now if we look at a key code summary, a color key for the materials, and an image of the floor plan. So either of these you can print to PDF or to a plotter. I'm going to go to print and select the key code summary. And if you don't have a print to PDF option, you can find those very easily just searching it online. There's plenty of good free ones, but Microsoft 10 has a built-in PDF printer, or if you have Adobe Acrobat, I believe that comes with a PDF printer as well. You'll just name the file. And it's gonna create a nice PDF for me to email.